Hey, it's Kit Cassingham, founder of and chief energizing officer at Live and Focused Energy. I wrote an article a few weeks ago about how in our lives in general, we can sometimes in trying to grow end up restricting our growth, like putting a cast on a broken limb. And if we leave it on too long, that limb atrophies so badly that the exercise to get it back into usability can be overwhelming sometimes. You need a cast when you break a limb to stabilize it. But you have to take that cast off at some point, and the sooner the, the, sooner the better, uh, once the bone has knit itself together. And I see that the article talked about some of the casts that we put on ourselves that limit our, our ability to, to grow and flourish. Things like our anger or hate, um, alcohol and drugs, even laughter can be a cast. You know, the, for, uh, the clown with a tear in his eye, uh, and tears, walls, resistance, uh, the pity parties we can have, even sarcasm, all of those can be reflections of the casts we have, the cages we put ourselves in. Well, I'm noticing that people with ADD, as I'm talking to more friends and associates about this, that there, there's kind of a, even a different layer of cast, or maybe crutch is a better word. Um, some people with ADD use that, they deny they have ADD, and others use the diagnosis as a way of helping them deal with who and what they are in life. So my question, my challenge to you is, whether your ADD keeps you from growing or does it motivate you to grow and overcome? There are some challenges with having ADD. There's some wonderful strengths too. Do you play into those strengths as much as you could? Do you let the uh, challenges, the drawbacks, hold you back more than you should. Another attitude I see with people who have ADD is, when I get my meds, I'll be fine. Some forms of ADD, some intensities or degrees of ADD really need the meds just so it will calm the brain enough that the brain can be managed. The, brain can be used as the tool that it is, but it takes more than the brain to be medicated for you to, to grow and flourish. You have a lifetime of habits, and I'll say, I'm going to be bold and say bad habits to overcome. The meds will help you do that, but it takes the intention to overcome and to grow into that new you. Um, yeah, the, yeah the, with, you can successfully manage your ADD when you've got the meds, but you really need to be mindful. You need to create a structure and you know, rules to play by. You can't play Calvin ball with yourself when you have ADD. You need that structure in the rules. You need a strong intention to set that all up. Are you going to hide behind your ADD and use that as an excuse to not face the challenges and grow? Or are you going to use that as a slingshot to propel you into that new, better you, the you that doesn't struggle, the you that thrives? Words to ponder. Hopefully you'll take action. That's what I want. I, I want for you is to, for you to grow and get all from your life that you really deserve. This is Kit Cassingham coming to you from Live and Focused Energy, urging you to make the most of your ADD. Talk to you later.